Hello, people. Welcome to a, a different video. Instead of the comic book chat, Friday comic book chat investment. Why not? Something different. You know, what more can I say about the comic book investment that's going on in the past six months that's any different than what it is going on right now, right? So it's like beating a dead horse, market going sideways. Some books up, some books down, some book crash. Not much to say. That being said, said um, this Sunday, I will do a part two of the market report. Normally, I just do the market report for the previous month once, okay? But due to the nature of the market we have right now, and I have kind of bypassed doing bronze, no, copper and modern the last few months because the auction runs so, there's so many books that the auction ran to, to the middle of the month, like it's ending today on many of the modern books on Comic Link. I figure it's good to do a market report that I can focus on copper and modern. So this Sunday at 10 a.m., if you're interested in July market report that focus on copper and modern tune in and you can make your request as far as what book you want me to look at and comment on do that because I, I will do the chat okay so it's it's part the of uh, the monthly report because I have not done copper and modern in a few months okay so keep that in mind lastly before I can I start with my rant is the X-Men one is back. It's coming back this afternoon. I confirmed the email. I, I, I got the UPS uh, email notice that I signed for the book, blah, blah, blah. So yeah, it's coming this afternoon. So I'm not sure when, most likely in the afternoon. I don't know, but as soon as it is here, I will do a live chat. And we will open up to see what the X-Men grade is going to be. X-Men 1, yes. We'll see. So watch that. Okay, so here's my coffee. Welcome. Beautiful day here in Sarasota. All right. If you saw the little thumbnail that I had, the rent is more than what that that comment is okay a lot of people that see the comment think that i am ranting on that comment but i'm ranting more on something bigger than that just comment okay because let me say this i am fully aware that it doesn't matter if I'm on YouTube for nine years. It doesn't matter if I have been around that long and have 2,000 something videos crazy. It doesn't matter that I have shown plenty of raw books that I bought in the past nine years on YouTube that are high grade, got super high grades that I know how to grade. It doesn't matter any of that. I get that because social media the internet is what it is somebody can stumble across my channel today right now without knowing anything about me i get that i fully get that okay so let me get it very clear out the way that's how social media work i'm not here to proclaim that people should know who i am who are you talking to do you know who i am this is not it Okay, so keep that in mind. It is not it. It is not about do you know who I am. One of the things that I practice with social media is that I don't presume, I don't assume, I don't jump to conclusion. I let people be. I, over the past so many years on YouTube, I have seen some of the worst grading tutorial videos I, I can imagine, some of the worst cleaning tutorials that I can imagine, some of the worst pressing videos I have ever seen. Why do you think I make 
all those series as far as pressing, cleaning, grading, because I have seen some of the most useless videos on YouTube. And a big part of me is always trying to educate people. So I want people to learn how to do it the right way. Do not F up their books. Okay? But that being said, I leave, I left no comments on any of those videos. None whatsoever. Okay, because it's really, you know, I can disagree. It's fine. I don't agree with what they say. That's fine. But that this go beyond just comic books. Okay, let me close the door real quick. Okay, I'm back. So, I have never left any negative comments on anyone's video. No matter how I don't like them or dislike them or I don't agree with them, that's just not me, okay? I understand this generation of new viewers and social, other people that enjoy social media, it's all about the like, the sub, the thumbs down, this, I don't care. I don't even leave thumbs up, okay? My biggest channel I watch is what Mikey Chan, Mark Weens, all those foodies. Do you think Mikey Chan need ETA Nick to leave a comments or a thumbs up when he has thousands, literally tens and thousands of those on a daily basis? No. Okay, so I, I enjoy YouTube. I watch it on my TV. And anyone that know YouTube on TV, you can't leave comments, and certainly it's a lot more hassle to 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 put the thumbs up, right? So I don't, I don't bother. I don't bother, okay? I, I watch every single one of their videos, let them run all the ads so that, the, the, so that they can earn the money. That's it, done with, done with, okay? So my rant and aggravation with social media and YouTube is a presumption of people, okay? One of the things that I have heard multiple times from YouTubers that don't like me, many many times is that ETA Nick is arrogant ETA Nick is this is I can take all of those criticism okay I don't care ETA Nick is an a-hole he's arrogant he's short fuse what whatever I don't care I am all of that go ahead throw those criticism at me I'm fine with that okay but to me you can disagree or not. To me, it is arrogant to, to watch somebody that you have never seen before for 30 seconds and presume that you're going to educate me on something. Okay, it's just like, really? Do I need to know that you really can't grade without looking at the interior of the book? <sighs> really? Is that some kind of high level knowledge? that somebody needs to sit down and type. That's what annoys me, the presumption that somebody needs to spew out that at anyone, at anyone. Holy cow. You know, it, it's, it's, it's not, you know, it, it's the statement itself. There's nothing wrong with that statement. The presumption of that statement is what I have a problem with, is that, you know, someone that just know nothing about me is going to educate me that I can't do something. Yes, I can. I have. And I keep on doing it. Okay? Yes, I understand. You can't really know the full grades without having the book in hand. But I'm confident with my skills that I can grade by looking at the pictures and buy something. And guess what? If the book has missing coupons as that person wrote, or they could be detached cuts in center fold, they could be missing coupon, this and I'm like, really? <sighs> you know, it's just like the presumption that somehow I need to be educated is what bothers me. Okay? Presumption. That is arrogant. To to to, to, to just spew out something like that is if like I need to tell him that he can't grade just 
without looking at the in no that's arrogant presumption and just plain stupid that is what i have a problem with and to be even more annoyed that get me to decide i want to do this rant video is that another person or maybe the same person shine in later and say that oh that's a legit comment and you just can't stand criticism that's not criticism his english and comprehension skip the brain of some people saying that you can't grade completely without looking at the interior is not a criticism to me it is a duh it is a are you serious it's so dumb it's not a criticism calling me an a-hole right now is a criticism okay so it's just like oh you can't stand criticism huh holy cow stupid is stupid okay so dumb it, it's you know, for those that know me very well you know that i have about this much tolerance with what stupid okay i just can't deal with that okay do i do stupid things absolutely do i get mad at myself when i do stupid things absolutely so do you think that i let stupid go by me without saying something no you know, I, I, if people can realize how stupid they are at times, maybe they become less stupid. <laughs> oh, that's a tall task. That's a tall task because, you know, that's not how people work. When they do stupid things, they get dumber because they, they can't, they can't own up to the stupidity, right? They, they got to argue their stupidity. They're trying to justify stupidity. <laughs> wrong numbers said be thankful you are not a woman been collecting since the mid 1970s and you would not believe the assumptions people make yeah it's just stop okay this is the worst i blame this more than anything on social media social media has turned people dumber than ever put the keyboard down before you type something that you think is intelligent. It is not. It is not. All you do is spew out hip hypocrisy, hypocrisy <laughs> and nonsense. It's just nonsense. It's just it's dumb. It's it's not knowledge. You're not dropping knowledge here, okay? Can I learn new things? Absolutely. I learn new things all the time on how to clean something, how, how to improve on my cleaning techniques, how to improve on my pressing. I learn all the time. And it's not from anyone dropping knowledge on me on their keyboard. Indeed, Dr. Doom, people drop obvious, state obvious stuff, and then they're just like, oh, he's mad because uh, he can't take criticism. It's not criticism. It is stating the obvious is not knowledge. I'm, my, I'm more annoyed by that because, you know, if, if you think that's knowledge, it is not. Holy cow. Indeed, Florian. Most of the time, stupid people lack the intelligence to realize they are stupid. That's why, that's why I said it's a tall task for me to expect people to let go of the keyboard and think first before they type. You know, it's just dumb. So, yeah, that's my rant. My rant is, you know, i just super annoyed at dumb things. Okay, it, it's just, I get it. Just, just as I stated in the beginning of this video, I get it. If you don't know me, you don't know anything about me. If you, it's okay. I get it.
okay? If you if you're new to the channel, you know nothing about me. I get it. But please spend a little time if you want to. Let's let's not jump to conclusion of what you think I need to know. I don't jump to any conclusion watching any YouTube channel, okay? It it's just dumb. I learned not to leave comments on many videos that I enjoy because occasionally it turned into a complete sh shizzle because people are too stupid to understand. Before I go, I'm going to give you a quick example. Mark Weems is, is my first foodies that I subscribed way back, way back when he had like 50,000 subscribers. Okay, because he was one of the very first foodies that traveled to Vietnam, my home country, and do food review there. And on one of his videos that he was in Hawaii, and he was eating food from a food truck, some kind of meal from the food truck, shrimp meal or something, and he mentioned that, oh, this meal cost $12. I have been to Hawaii a few times. I'm sure those have been to Hawaii know how expensive Hawaii is compared to the rest of the U.S., right? So I, I wrote a, a, a simple comment. Oh, $12, that's a very reasonable price for that dish in Hawaii. And holy cow, just that simple sentence bring out the stupidity of the internet. That is so dumb. For $12, I can feed my family for a whole week in Sri Lanka. It, it, it's just, and it's just like a barrage of just like people jumping on the bandwagon of just like, it, yeah, I can't believe he think $12 is reasonable. Are you stupid? You, do you not understand the context of price in Hawaii compared to Sri Lanka? It, it's just, yeah, that that that's it's it's just like yeah. Trust me, I don't even bother to comment on any of Mark Wynn's video after that. I'm just like, okay, I'm gonna enjoy his channel. His viewers are worldwide. No need to argue with the stupid. Okay, twelve dollar. That's not cheap. What kind of person are you? You're a horrible person to think that we can afford something like that, huh? What? <laughs> uh, anyhow, that's it for my rant. Okay, hopefully it put into context why I was annoyed. It's not because the comment is wrong. Okay, it's the presumption that I was annoyed at. And then the presumption of another person that said, oh, he, he, has, he can't stand criticism. You stupid idiot. Um, Anyhow, if you want to know what the grade is for the X-Men one, stay tuned because uh, as soon as it's here, unless it is lunchtime and I'm eating, I will do a chat ASAP to show off the book and the grade. And if you want to tune in live Sunday market report on copper and modern, there will be a, a live chat then, okay? Later, people. Enjoy your Friday. See you in a few hours, okay? Bye-bye.